So today is the first day of the implementation of the vaccine passport in the province of Quebec, and it's enraging in a way that I can't possibly put into words, although I'm going to do my best. It's also my 14th wedding anniversary with my wife, Marion, although anybody who watched last night's sidebar already knows that because it was a sidebar with my wife. And uh, thanks to some of the super chats during the stream, I've taken their advice and invested that super chat in what is my favorite restaurant in Montreal, Park Sushi. Oh, I don't want to turn it over. It is the best sushi place, if not in the world, at the very least, certainly in the province. And we were going to go out for dinner to go to the restaurant, to go to Park. But they have this passport system in effect, and I refuse to submit to this passport system. I refused to go into a restaurant and show my paper, show my QR code. I want to support Park Restaurant because they have alternatives for those who don't want to do this, but I refuse to partake in that system. And if it means never eating in a restaurant again or a coffee shop or going to a gym, I am prepared to live with that. Where I have a bigger problem is when it comes to kids who might have to live under those conditions, live as such second-class citizens, but secondary issues. My biggest issue with this is, on the one hand, in my humble opinion, it's totally unscientifically justified. It is not going to do anything in terms of achieving the allegedly desired goal. We're in Quebec, where 95% of people over 70 have been double vaccinated. So to say now, at those levels, that we need to implement a vaccine passport because some people may not feel comfortable dining next to someone not knowing their vaccination status, we're no longer in the realm of rational thought and rational risk assessment. And the ultimate irony, by the way, in all of this, for anybody who even thinks that that's a justification for the vaccine passport, you don't need to have uh, the vaccination status of the employees known. So in other words, patrons of a restaurant have to show proof of vaccination, but the employees of that restaurant do not need to show proof of vaccination and do not themselves need to be vaccinated as a condition of their employment yet, although the government is suggesting or implying that this might be coming down the pipe later on. So as far as the logic to this vaccine passport goes, there is none. There is no necessity, there is no logic, there is no coherence, because patrons have to show the QR code, they have to show their papers, but the employees working the restaurant do not need to be vaccinated, so let that sink in. The other thing I have a big problem with is the government forcing this divide on people. There are the obvious cost aspects of this. You need to actually either train employees, hire specific employees to basically work security at the restaurant, to ask all patrons coming in to show your papers, or the euphemism now is certificate or proof of vaccination. They don't want to say papers because that has a bad historical connotation, so we're using euphemisms. So show your certificate of vaccination, as though it gets any better just to uh, equate us to animals, but th that's the euphemism. So you have to have staff to basically work security to ask uh, these questions of patrons coming in. Uh, you need to train them. It's an additional cost, but it is the government creating a divisive tool to divide citizens and then passing the buck of enforcement onto the private enterprise. Because this will create strife between patrons, clients, and the restaurants, and the employees at the restaurants. It will cause conflict. It's not a question of if or may, or whether or not you think the conflict is justified, or whether or not you think everyone should just adhere to the rules. It is going to cause conflict. But it's not going to cause conflict between the citizens and the government. It's not going to cause conflict between the citizens and the authorities. It's going to cause conflict in between citizens, in between people who have been patrons of one another, between people who were friends, colleagues, members of a community. You are now, and by you, the government is now compelling some members of the community to verify the medical status of other members of the community. They are passing the buck of the enforcement of this down to the citizens, to the private enterprises, and it's going to cause social discord. There's not a question about it. The only question is how much and for what? It's going to cause social discord. There's no logic to any of this. And the question is going to be, well, is it going to be good or bad for business? The rationale by the government is that this is going to be good for business. It's going to allow businesses to open because if we don't have the vaccination proof of patrons, we it's going to be too risky to open businesses. So this is like the precondition to allowing a business to reopen. So it's going to be good for businesses. 
Except it might not be good for businesses when people of good conscience like myself who are double vaccinated are going to say I'm not frequenting a business that's going to make me do this. I'm not going to frequent or support a business that is going to treat fellow citizens like cattle. And I appreciate they're just implementing the government's tactic here. But I will not frequent those businesses. And I don't think I'm alone. And the people who are so concerned that they need other people to show their proof of vaccination, they will never be adequately satisfied. They will never feel safe enough to go to these businesses. And it's not like it's going to attract all that much business from those people. So it's only going to kill the small business uh, without any meaningful necessity to justify it. And the government says, well, well, we'll see how it goes in the next couple of weeks. We'll see. Bottom line, it's going to kill the small business. It's going to cause strife among citizens. It's going to make civil life, what we knew as civil life, uh, uncivil. And all of this, all of this in the hopes of, um, you know, avoiding another lockdown. And I was talking to some employees and they said, I'll do whatever it takes to avoid another lockdown. As if the idea of a lockdown, and that guy was actually on a unicycle. I don't know if you could see that. As if the threat of a lockdown is a legitimate threat in the first place. As though it's a legitimate thing in your mind when you're factoring in decisions to say, well, I better do it because otherwise there's going to be another lockdown. A lockdown should never have become a reasonable, legitimate, or even any form of government. Lockdowns should not be a form of government or a tactic or a tool of government in any free and democratic society. Because it's, I guess, a truism at some point when you have lockdowns as a tool of government, government, you no longer live in a free and democratic society. It's not, you're not a free and democratic society just because you say you are. You're a free and democratic society because you act like one. And so Australia right now is not a free and democratic society. I, I will argue that Canada is no longer a free and democratic society, and we need to take that back. But you are not a free and democratic society just because you say you are. You have to act like one, you have to live by the principles, and sometimes living by the principles of a free and democratic society implies, entails a certain amount of risk. All right, with that said, I better go inside and actually have dinner with my wife, 14 years, three kids, two dogs, one guinea pig, a bunch of fish. <sighs> Life is interesting, and I never thought I'd be here, but... Here we are. Oh yeah, one other thing. If I can find it in time. Can I? Got my flyers. I did about a kilometer and a half door to door slipping these in mailboxes so people know that there is actually a name for freedom out there and it's Friday. And holy cows, that's great. Peace out everyone.